all right guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to make a super cheap super simple power box to charge all of your electronics so what i got here is an ammo can 50 cal ammo can from harbor freight it's got a waterproof seal along the inside here um, what I'm going to be using as my power source, you can use whatever you want for a battery, but uh, I have a lithium ion 10 amp hour battery here. It's Amped Outdoors is who makes this. And I use this in my flip over shack to run the lights. So I figured while I'm not using it in the winter, I'll use it for this. And the whole reason I want to build this is because um, I got my truck camper set up. I need, um, if I'm going to be going on a day trip or overnight somewhere, I want to be able to charge my cell phone, I want to be able to charge a couple of cameras, some GoPros and stuff, and maybe even occasionally run some lights inside of the camper. So I don't need anything too crazy. All I want to do is have a couple plugs and that's it. So what I bought to do this with, this is like the cheapest, most simple way. You don't have to wire hardly anything. It's uh, this little thing right here. I'll link it down in the description below. It's all pre-wired, all ready to go. It has an inline fuse already ready to go. It's got a power switch on off. It's got a 12 volt socket cigarette lighter plug there. And then it's got a uh, voltmeter on the front and you pull this off and it's got two USB chargers. So exactly what I need. You can obviously wire in some other stuff if you want to run lights and stuff in here, but I don't need that. I'm going to keep it super simple and uh, just show you guys how to do it. It's so easy. So step one is just removing this little trim piece from the plugs so you can get your template on where to drill the holes if you want to use this. You don't have to use this at all if you don't want to. Just drill your own holes and put the, put the switches wherever you want. But we pulled that off. Now all you have to do is set this on the box where you want it. Something like that. Mark our holes. And then we can drill them. So just get the appropriate size hole saw, try to get it lined up in the center. All right, so we should have a nice mess on the inside because there's tabs hanging down there. And all we'll have to do is just break these out, some pliers later. But let's just make sure that one of these is gonna fit. Yep, perfect. I'm just gonna use these type of pliers like this. You can use whatever you want to get those out, but let's go down in here. Pull it right out. All right. Kind of clean up these edges a little bit, but don't really give two shits. So there we go. Just gonna try to remember how they all go. And they have these little locking rings on the inside. So you just tighten it, snug it right up to the box with that. Fits like a glove. So we've got that all hooked up to the box. Looks pretty good. Lift that up, you see how it looks underneath there. Now all we have to do is, if you have a battery, all you have to do at this point is just connect it with these terminals and you're done. Uh, my battery has these type of terminals with the little uh, different connectors on there. They actually give you a bag of connectors and screws so you don't have to buy any if you have a battery like this. All we have to do is pull out two of these connectors here, take our wire cutter, snip off those, put one of these on, Pretty quick and easy, just like that. Also, if you guys don't have these wire cutters, you should get them because they're awesome. I'll link them down in the description below. So, now we just stick our battery in there. Plug in our terminals. Black to black, red to red, people. It's the only thing you have to know. All right, guys, so I brought this inside so I could show you it a little bit better so the, the sunlight wasn't picking it up that good with the camera, but um, so we got it all wired up. It literally took me, I don't know, three minutes maybe to do all that. 
and uh, this is just a test to see if it works. We turn the switch on, uh, the lights come on, the voltmeter comes on, tells you how much battery life you got left, and it's working. Plug in a USB charger here, get our iPhone out here, plug it in, and it's charging. All I have left to do now is screw in this little frame piece. Probably just gonna wanna be careful with these because they probably stick down in there a little ways, but I'm not worried myself. If you want, you can put some silicone along here too to kind of waterproof it. So one other thing I'm going to do with this is I have this these foam pieces I had from something that was shipped to me a while ago, but I'm just going to put some pieces in the bottom, set my battery in there, and stuff some pieces on the side so it doesn't jiggle around as much. And I also bought this bigger box so I could keep the charger in there, and that's going to fit nicely right down inside of there. Just kind of shove it on in there, and there we go. Cell phone's charging. As you guys probably know, you can go really elaborate with these things, get crazy, put lights on them, put a whole bunch of ports, you know, different types of plugs and stuff. Uh, and you can spend a lot of money doing it. This was super cheap. The outlets and the whole switch mechanism was very cheap. I'll link it down in the description below. And like you guys saw, it took me a matter of minutes just to put this together. And I got a functional box here that's gonna run some lights and charge some batteries. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.